Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, <laughs> and today I am super excited to be unboxing this keyboard. It's a Lisa's V25 MIDI keyboard controller. This is one of those things I've been wanting for so, so long. Actually, my teacher recommended this keyboard to me because he uses it. I think he has the V25, but also he has the V49. And honestly, the V25 is perfect for my desk situation. And I'm just really, really excited to be unboxing this. This is my very first MIDI controller. And this is probably the best thing I've ever invested in. I love it. And enough of me talking. Let's just jump right into this unboxing. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so what's in front of you is the Alias V25 keyboard box. And there's nothing much to it from the front. And of course you get Pro Tools first, you get Ableton Live Lite. And how I can explain Ableton Live Lite to you is with Pro Tools. I first started using Pro Tools first. You get a certain limit on IOs, buses, auxes, tracks, different types of things. And I feel like Ableton Live Lite is like that. And then when you upgrade to Ableton Live or Pro Tools, Standard or HD or anything like that, you will get more IOs and more audio tracks and everything. Basically, Pro Tools first and Ableton Live Lite is a good beginner type of thing that they give you to experience the program with. And then if you want to upgrade, to Ableton Live or Pro Tools Standard or HD, you can do that. As well as you get Expand 2, which is part of Pro Tools First or Pro Tools Standard or HD. But in this case, you can get Expand 2 to go on different softwares as in Pro Tools First or Ableton Live. So that's a really cool thing to have. And as we move to the top of the box, it's just a picture of the keyboard itself it's really cool looking and you'll see it in a few minutes when I do the actual unboxing but on the right side it's just the description in different languages of the keyboard as you will see in a few minutes in English the back side of this which is right in front of me and you'll see all the features that this thing has Okay, so as we move to the left side of this box, it just says the Alias V25, 25 key USB MIDI keyboard controller, and then it has like half of the keyboard on the side. We have the Alias V25 25 key USB mini keyboard controller there and it's all its glory and a big huge text. I feel like that would be good to have as a background in a way. And then on this side is the same exact thing on the left side so nothing too much. And then finally we get to the back of this thing and this is where this side is for the English side of where the top one we I first showed you with the different languages that this one is the English side that tells you the specs and details on this keyboard. Now let me explain the features this incredible keyboard has. The features of the Alias V25 are 25 full size square front keys 8 velocity sensitive backlit pads for B production and clip launching, 4 assignable knobs and 4 assignable buttons interface with your music software, octave up and down buttons let you access the full keyboard range, 
pitch and modulation wheels deliver expressive creative controls, seamless visual feedback via illuminated buttons and knobs, and USB powered and USB MIDI connectivity for Mac and PC. Next up is the box contents. So you have the V25 MIDI keyboard controller, USB cable, software download cards, and the user guide. Then the minimum system requirements are an available USB port, Windows 7 or above, 32-bit or 64-bit, OS X 10.11 or above, and if you want the software requirements, please visit alias.com. I am so, so excited to just unbox this because this is one of those things, as I said in the beginning, I've been wanting for a very, very long time. It's my very first MIDI keyboard. I've been using it for a project and it's amazing. The pads are amazing. The octave up and down really helps and the keys are weighted and it feels very, very nice. It doesn't feel like it's plastic and you're just touching a hollow piece of plastic. It just feels like you're touching like a grand piano type of keyboard. Now this video is just gonna be an unboxing. I want to get familiar with this, familiar with the program and familiar how to use it, how to connect it. And that's why this video is gonna be just an unboxing to show you what I got and to show you what the overall box and what is inside this thing. So let's switch to the GoPro and start this unboxing. Alrighty guys, so this is a live unboxing because a lot of the times I always done like a voiceover type of thing and I always don't really like that. And um, it's just a little awkward trying to watch a screen, rush through it. And I just want to take my time with this because this is, as I said before, this has been in my Amazon cart or wish list, one of the two. It's basically has been in my, in my wish list and in my Amazon cart for a very, very long time, ever since last year. And I'm very excited to open this and start filling around with it. And let's just get to it. I mean, um, yeah. So enough said, I talked enough. Let's get right to this unboxing. So we have these tabs here. Alrighty. New box feel. Stiff as a board. Get it? Ha, huh, stiff as a board. Okay. Oh. Y'all can smell that? No, you wish it was, what, a 4D, 7D, whatever. <laughs> but I love the smell of new products. I really do. So what I first see here is this package manual. Okay. I'm going to blur, blur this out because this is the Ableton Live Light 9 code. So I'm just going to blur that out but I'm just gonna show you what you get. So you get these two manuals. Um, let's open this one. So I turned this around so you guys won't see the code, but um, this is just a download software thing. It says, thank you for your purchase to download your software file and instructions below. La -de -da -de -da. I have to register my hardware, which is the V25. And then I can get the, um, download and I have to type in the serial number. So basically in my college, they have Ableton here and they have Ableton classes. Ableton is like a, I guess it's like Pro Tools, but you create beats and songs specifically for that. So this is what this card is. I'm definitely going to learn this because I mean, it's, it's Ableton and my curriculum does not have um, Ableton here. So basically, I just want to learn it. I can use LinkedIn. It was lynda.com, but they are now LinkedIn. That's how I am learning Pro Tools 110. That's the Advanced Pro Tools. Let's put this under like that. 
One's a user guide, then one is the safety instructions. So basically this is just all this stuff in different languages, in English and Spanish, what else? Other, other languages, I have no idea what. And then the user guide. Okay, cool. So they have a sustain pedal. I don't think I'll be using that because I'll just be holding the key down or whatever. So it explains to you each one that it signs. That's pretty cool. I will definitely be using that. Then this is all the different types of languages, France, Italian, um, Dutch. What else? Yeah, or Funkington. Funky tone. I don't know what that is. It's probably Dutch still. What's this? Okay, technical specification. That's pretty cool. So as you can, so I'm not gonna list this because in the beginning I already listed that, which is pretty cool. It says alias.com. We are done with that. We're gonna move on to this thing. This is the main event here. All right. Ah, <laughs> big mistake. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I just dropped some. It's probably the power thing or USB. No. All right, let me get that USB. All right, it's just your regular type of USB for like an audio interface. I don't know what type of USB this is. I feel dumb, I should know that since a lot of these are used in the audio world. But um, this is a very long one and I'm glad it's long because I sort of did, I sort of redid my area for, um, for my audio stuff. So like the Mac, the monitor, the audio interface. Basically I'm trying to make more space specifically for this, but if I need to, I can work on schoolwork on either sides of the desk. This area is where my laptop is and I can easily just take things out instead of like my Mac over here that's all stationary that I can't really move and unplug constantly, but um, I'm glad this is pretty long. And I have two hubs and 3.0 hubs, but it doesn't really matter if it's 3.0 because those are 2.0 compatible and these are gonna work as well. It's gonna work just fine with these. Alrighty, let's move this box out of the way. Alrighty, so let's get rid of these things. Oh wow, this actually has some weight to it. I'm surprised. Alrighty, these are the foam things that hold these. Alrighty, so this is actually pretty big. I thought it would be like maybe this small, but I don't know why I just made it feel like in my head to be it small, but this is the keyboard. Um, let's unwrap this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is my, as I said in the beginning, this is my very first MIDI keyboard, but this is wow. I'm, so, oh, so this thing is supposed to not let it move, I guess. So let's take this out. Okay, so this is what we have here. Um, oh wow. The keys are weighted. They feel very, very nice. When I say very nice, they feel very, very heavy. Feel they have weight to them. They're not, it feels like you're not touching plastic, but this is weighted. It feels nice. All these keys are weighted. Um, you have your pads here, the eight pads. Um, you have your pitch. I forgot what this is. Um, you have your down, up, one, two, three, four sign, and these are the other sign buttons. Um, wow. I'm actually surprised how good this is. I've been waiting so long to see this and I finally got it. And I'm so excited. So this is the back here, the Alias V25. Let's put this down softly. You also have the sustain um, one fourth inch um, jack here. And then you have the USB, which goes like that. Then on the back you have the Alias V25 sticker, and then you have the barcode or serial number. 
So I'm very, very excited to use this. So guys, this is just an unboxing. I'm not gonna set it up and show you how it goes. That's gonna be for a later video because this is, I know this is packed, jam packed with a lot of things you can do. And I just wanna get familiar with it, read this, get familiar with this, and I will then release a review on this Alias V25. And um, I'm very excited. It's, gosh, I've been waiting so long for this and it's finally here. I know Pro Tools enough for me to get around with connecting USB MIDI. It's very, very, very easy. And for the review for this, I just might do that. I might show you how I connect it and put it into Pro Tools and um, GarageBand and maybe Ableton if I can learn Ableton that fast. I wanted to create songs for a very long time. A lot of songs that I wrote are just trash. I never bothered with them. And it's because that I always used a MIDI type, like the Casio, I always used that and the sound wasn't great. Now I can actually get plugins that are decent and make it sound real and I can use these. I can use this for drums, keys, everything. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. This is just an amazing opportunity that I got to get this. And I'll put the link in the description box below to the Amazon link that I got this. But this is only $89, flat out amazing. And of course, in a later video, I'm going to be reviewing this and giving you my opinions on it, see what is the pros and cons of this, if it's a good product or not. I truly think this is a good starter type of thing and it's a good price for what you get here. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell and when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this. <laughs> or any type of video. And I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below. And you'll see it at the last 20 seconds of this video. And just check out my vlogging and gaming channel. You might like it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am just beyond excited to get this and have it in front of me right now, touching it. And I'm just so excited to start using this finish a project that I've been working on for quite a while now and um, hopefully it will turn out well because when I was working on this project I was actually using my keyboard not this keyboard but my computer keyboard doing all these type of things and this is definitely going to help out and very very soon I'm going to be releasing a review on this once I get the gist of this and learn it more so once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is a Tech Manny sign off. See you later, guys.